In this video, we're going to take a look at the EcoFlow River 2 Pro. What's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. So, right here, I got the EcoFlow River 2 Pro portable power station. This is one of their newest lines of power stations. I've been using this now for probably the last couple months. And I really enjoy using the EcoFlow power stations. I currently own three of them, including this one. And I've never had any issues with any of their power stations that I've owned in the past. So the EcoFlow River 2 Pro is going to have a 768 watt hour battery built in. And this is right around an 800 watt AC output on this. But it does have a technology called X-Boost in it which is gonna allow you to boost the output of this up to 1600 watts. So if you got any high demanding electronics, that instant boost just to get started, kind of like a refrigerator or something like that, this is, won't go into protection mode and this will be able to cover that for a period of time without overloading. The EcoFlow River 2 Pro, even though it's a little bit bigger, it still only comes in at about 17 pounds, which it still makes it very portable and easy to take camping or off grid, anything like that. One of the things I like about the EcoFlow is they have a fast charge capability. So this only takes 70 minutes to fully charge and I've tested that out a few times. Also with charging, you can charge this four different ways. You can charge this via your an AC cord that they provide you with. You also can charge this with solar panels, which EcoFlow does have solar panels also. You can charge this with your 12 volt through your car, or you can charge this through the USB-C that's right here on the front. So it's pretty nice that there's four different ways that you can charge this portable power station depending on your situation. Along with being able to charge the device four different ways, this device can actually provide power to 11 devices at one time. So you get three USB-A ports here, you get a USB-C that's a 100 watt port, you're gonna get four AC outputs here, and then you get your 12 volts in this area here. To turn each one of these on, there's an AC button down here on the corner, which allows you to turn on these outlets and you can also turn on the DC or turn off the DC by using this button right here. As you guys can see, right in the middle, it's got a nice, clear, crisp display. It's gonna give you your hours that are left in the battery, what the battery is charged at, so it's 74% right now, and then it's gonna show your input watts and your output watts. So as soon as you plug in a device, the hour meter will change accordingly to how much your device is pulling. So you always have a good indication of how long this power station is going to last depending on what you need it for. On the side of the power station here, you got good ventilation. There's a built-in fan right here. You got a nice carry handle on the back. You got your solar or your 12 volt input here and then your AC input. More venting on the other side. And then on the bottom, you got some rubber padding there. So this won't slip off a table or wherever you place this. And then on the top there, just a smooth surface. This is not a wireless charging spot for anything. This is just a smooth surface up top here. All right guys, so I'll give you a look at everything that your EcoFlow River 2 Pro is gonna come with. You're gonna get your user manuals and quick guide, of course. Also along with that, you'll get your AC cord. Pretty generous on the length on the AC cord, which is nice. You'll also receive your 12 volt cord, your car plug here, to be able to charge it in your car, which is nice, and that's going to be the adapter that goes on the back. And they're also gonna give you a barrel cable for your DC output. The built-in battery on this is good for over 3,000 battery cycles. So this is gonna last you many years, and then they also do provide a five-year warranty along with your product. All right, guys, so here's an example of the fan. The fan just turned on on the EcoFlow. I don't know if you guys can even hear that. I'm about a foot away from the power station right now. So as you guys can hear, not very loud at all. Very quiet. And then as you guys can see, it's got the little fan icon right on the screen there. All right guys, so just for size comparisons here, I went ahead and brought out my River 
to max. This is a 512 watt hour portable power station by EcoFlow. So as you guys can see, not a huge difference in size, but you're getting a lot more watt hours in this with the 768 watt hours compared to 512. And to be honest with you, the weight difference isn't that significant. You definitely, this weighs more, but for portability and stuff, you're not really gonna notice it too much. The height difference is only about an inch and a half. And then as far as the width goes, they're exactly about the same as far as width goes. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and plug a few tools in into this EcoFlow River 2 Pro. Right here, I just got a nice little blower. It's like a one amp blower. So this should be easy for it. Go ahead and plug it in, it's on high. I'm not sure, it's definitely on. Right now it's pulling about 100 watts, powering that no problem. And it's saying that it's got about four hours that it's gonna run that. It's at 68% right now. So that's an easy one for the EcoFlow. We'll go ahead and ramp it up a little bit here. We'll uh, set it up with a power tool. I got a polisher here, Harbor Freight. This is a 10 amp polisher. So we'll go ahead and leave the fan on and then we'll plug this in and we'll run this. Start it off at a low speed and then I'll power it up. All right guys, so both of those we got up over 650 watts. So didn't, it handled that with no problem. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in my heat gun. We'll run this heat gun. And this heat gun itself is probably gonna pull a lot of wattage. So heat gun's on. Right now we're at about 800 total watts. So it seems to be running the fan and the heat gun just fine as I expected. Go ahead and plug in circular saw. This is a 13 amp circular saw. Once again, no problem. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna run the heat gun and then I'm also gonna run the polish and we'll see how the EcoFlow handles that. So right now, we're at 800. And then we'll run the polisher. Start at a low speed here. And then we'll crank it up. So as you guys can see there, it got to about 900, a little over 950 watts it was pushing out. All right guys, so as I just demonstrated, I ran the heat gun and then another 100 watts with this blower. And then I also had the polisher hooked up. Now you're probably wondering, well, this is only an 800 watt power station. How was it able to do that? Well, that's due to the X-Boost technology that's built into this EcoFlow. Even though that this is only an 800 watt power station, it allows higher wattage devices to be powered off of this. Now it's not technically running them at full capacity. The technology is a little complicated, but what it does is it allows this power station to run these devices, but just at a lower capacity. So what you guys probably didn't notice is as I was running this heat gun, the fan, even though this was on high, it actually kicked down. So it wasn't blowing on high. It was almost like a kick down to a medium or a low. 
So where other power stations would just go into overload, protect itself, and just shut off, this allows you still to power more devices at a higher wattage without going into protection mode, but it just doesn't power it at full capacity. So even though this might have been using 100 watts originally, while I ran the 800 watt heat gun, it might have kicked this down to about 50 watts or so. To show you guys another example of that, I got a portable space heater here. It's a LifeSmart space heater. But if you look over on the side here, it's gonna say that it's a 1200 watt heater. So under normal circumstances, if you didn't have a power station that was capable of pushing out 1200 watts, it would automatically go into protection mode. But as you guys will see, I'll go ahead and plug this into the EcoFlow and then I will turn the heater on. And you'll see that the EcoFlow will actually run this heater even though it's 1200 watts. So we'll turn on the AC button there and then I'm gonna go ahead and zoom up. I'll go ahead and zoom up on the EcoFlow while I turn this on. And you'll probably see it ramp up the wattage and then it'll stabilize it to what this EcoFlow can handle while still running the heater. So 11.55. Start off at 11.55. Any normal 800 watt power station would have just went right into protection mode at that moment. The EcoFlow did not. It regulated the wattage, brought it down to be able to still run the heater without going into protection mode. So right now it's running at about 817-ish watts, bouncing around a little bit, and I'm getting nice heat off of this heater. Like I said, it's not running at its full capacity, but it's still working, and that is the advantage of the X-Boost. So while the EcoFlow River 2 Pro is running this heater, as you guys can see the coils are getting red already. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is EcoFlow has a built-in app. So these power stations are compatible with a built-in app through Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Here is the app on my phone. Sorry for the glare. But as you guys can see, I got the River 2 Pro. I got my River 2 Max. And then I also have my River Max Plus because they're all compatible with the app. And then if you click into the app, it'll connect. And once it connects through Wi-Fi, it's going to give you all your information on the power station, how much time is left, the output of wattage, the input of wattage, your AC, your solar input, and your USB input there. You can change the settings if you want to. Go in here, change the name of it. Turn your X boost on or off right here. So a lot of information, and it's nice to be able to monitor your EcoFlow right from the app. So that's pretty cool. All right, guys, so there you go. A rundown of the EcoFlow River 2 Pro power station. As you guys can see, very versatile power station. You can use it for power outages, backup power, tailgating, camping, whatever you need it for. Lightweight, compact, and this pushes out a lot of power. And along with the power station, it's always a great idea to power it up with a solar panel. This is EcoFlow's 220 watt solar panel. I'll be doing a review on this also. So if you guys are interested in seeing how this works, along with any of the EcoFlow portable power stations, make sure you subscribe. I also put links for these in the description box below. So make sure you check out these links. Definitely really smart to get one of these portable power stations nowadays. The way we're having these bad weather conditions and power outages seem to be happening more and more often every day. So hopefully you guys found the video useful. If you got any comments, questions, put them down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Like I said, I'll put links in the description box below. Check out those links. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you in the next one.